you guys think? Should we introduce ourselves every time? <laughs> I just kind of go crazy. <laughs> um. Now today we uh, wanted to go over uh, one of our projects uh, that we really enjoyed doing. That was the uh, 79 Bronco. Uh, Michael and I have always loved Hot Wheels. We're, we're best friends, by the way, and, and cousins and business partners. And neighbors. And, and neighbors. <laughs> and when we were little kids, I'd come over to his house and he always had the massive Hot Wheels collection. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that he had was the real riders. Oh. Yeah, the real riders uh, were the coolest of the cool because they had real rubber tires that are mounted on these little tiny plastic rims and they even said Goodyear on them. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were just so cool. So if you ever could find a real rider version of a vehicle, you, you wanted to get that. So that has always been kind of fun to, uh, in our hearts. Also for the simple fact that of course, you know, we do lettering on tires. So uh, it was one of the first <laughs> toys that, that I noticed that had yeah. that. So uh, we found this Bronco, a 79 Bronco. And we thought, let's do a tribute to one of the, the real riders, Hot Wheel Broncos. Yeah, the, the Bronco was over in Mississippi and a guy had done a pretty good job restoring it. He had uh, hit the paint, he had done a lift on it, shocks and suspension. Uh, he had some decent tires. Uh, he had Toyos, right? 37s, yeah. Yeah, 37s. Uh, we weren't a huge fan of the wheels, but... Uh, they, they were it, bullet holes. Yeah, it was fine. You know, they were just, fine, just dated. Not, not, anything interesting, not interesting. Yeah, but the, the vehicle is very solid. Uh, it was a great restoration. The paint looked good on it. He had gotten new bumpers, the badges. The interior was, yeah, nice. the interior was, it was good. A nice, it was just a nice truck, but yeah. it, was boring. it was boring. It was a white, boring yeah. truck. He had, he had painted it gloss white. Uh, so it was a great foundation, a great base. Uh, one of the things, though, about that, and driving it home from Mississippi, it was a pig. Yeah. I mean, you felt like you were whipping the mess out of it going down the interstate. I really oh. loved that truck, but it... It, it really did not like the highway. No, at all. It well, it had 456 it. lockers front and rear, so. Yeah, it, it would be great. For, oh, it had a know. 460 in it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was drinking gas like. Uh, uh, probably got eight miles to the gallon oh, if we were lucky downhill. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, but it would be great if you were going to take it off road uh, on some back trails, but there was no way you would ever take that thing down there. I mean, the paint was just too nice. Yeah, it was so. too nice. It was too nice, but it was it was perfect for what we wanted to do. Another interesting side note with these Fords, these old Fords, is they put the VIN on a sticker on the door. Oh yeah. And so, and it's really not anywhere else <laughs> except for like hard parts, like the frame. Oh yeah, yeah. The, they actually have it on the frame up top. You, you can open up the hood and look down on the passenger side, right? The frame horn. However, when they put that 460 in there. They had to cut out. They notched the, they frame, notched the frame. And guess what they took out? Right there with the VIN. The VIN. I, so, there wasn't a section of that left. So we get there, we drive the truck, and we're like, man, this thing's nice. I think this will work. And then we're like, let's let's check the, the VIN by the title, because you always want to do that. Um, make sure that you're not picking up something stolen. On classic cars, it's almost worse, because they could have a spotted history from years before. Anyway, so we were like, OK, let's look at the VIN. Where's the VIN? Well, I painted the door. Um, and then, oh, okay, it's supposed to be on the frame horn. Well, it's been notched out for the 460. Oh, and is it on the engine? No, because the 460 was swapped in there. So the only place left on the whole entire truck was on top of the frame under the passenger seat? Yes, yeah, right up and under the passenger seat. <laughs> Which you had like an inch of clearance oh, to man. even see it. We even, had to get a mirror. Yeah, it was less. <laughs> well, we tried with our smart, you know, our iPhone getting up in there, trying to look with the camera. No good. It actually took a mirror. And, I mean, we... We worked on that for like 40 minutes because yeah. it, it was looking like the deal was just not going to go through. Yeah, because we weren't going to do it if we couldn't, if we couldn't uh, make sure the van was correct. Anyway, so we got all that done and we made the drive home uneventful um, and then we started work on it um, and uh, tried to pay tribute to the original Hot Wheels wrap but also kind of give it a modern twist and that's what we did. You can see it in the pictures. Uh, but the car, the truck was just beautiful. I mean, it was yes, one of it these. Really was. It, 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 we even had the motorcycle on the back. We we uh, we found an old '79 uh, model um, Honda XL 250, and it was gorgeous. And yeah. so we mounted that on the back, just like the original. And uh, it was just, it looked like the a huge toy. Yeah. And uh, so we we really were pleased with how everything turned out with that. And then Hella 
uh, came through with uh, with lights, uh, with their with their light package, and it was amazing. Yes. Uh, we put on the roof, and uh, you can see some clips of that too, probably. Yeah, and they, they hooked us up with the uh, with lights for the the bike as well, and mm -hmm. uh, lights that went inside and the, the fender wells. wells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really cool. So we took it to SEMA uh, that year, 2016, right? I think so. Yeah. And then uh, the following year, Hella asked if they could have it in their booth at SEMA, and we said. Of course. Yeah, yeah. so it went so twice. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's traveled yeah. across the country uh, twice now. Yeah. Uh, and then it's traveled a lot further. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While we were uh, at the 2017 SEMA show, this guy reaches out to us because uh, he's from Austria and he's like, I've got to have your Bronco. And uh, he was talking with Michael. And Did he say Australia? Put another shrimp on the barbie? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. Austria. Austria. Okay, like near, so, near Germany. <laughs> yeah. And um, anyway, we struck a deal with him at the show. He offered us, a, made us an offer we just couldn't refuse. So we ended up selling it to him and brought it home. And they came and picked it up just a couple weeks later. And uh, its new home is over there in Austria. So. Yeah, so if you're out there, you might see it tooling around. You can't miss it. No, absolutely not. That's all right. <laughs> no, you can no leave it's, there. it's good right there. Well, we're, yeah. yeah. You want to be on the video? <laughs> no, it's all right. No, it's no big deal. No, we'll edit it. No big deal. No. Well, I'll sit here and watch out my video. Okay. Well, we were just about to wrap it up. Oh, no. well, we could probably get right in on the next one, really. Yeah. And that's a wrap.